What's up everyone, it's Iceman Oz, aka J, and I've got something a little bit different for you today. We've got some Rocket League. Now if you don't know what this game is, all you need to know is that there are giant balls and there are cars that hit them. That is literally it. So with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to play one of the new DLC modes, which is called Mutator Mashup. Now I've never played it, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we do well in my first Rocket League game. Hopefully we don't get slaughtered. And this is my vehicle here. And obviously uh, you can customize it. You have a variety of different options here. So I think this is the best one I've found so far. And that's my way strip right there. Alright, let's see what we got. Okay, we've joined mid-game. And while the lag, while the frame drops, what on earth is happening? Okay, okay. And why is there a giant ball? What is going on? Okay, we're good now. Okay, so from what it looks like, it looks like a standard Rocket League game, just with a bigger ball. So that means it'll affect the mechanics. I missed the ball right there. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't know how you miss a ball that large. Ah, oh, save it! Nice, good job, good job. So, I, I guess the ball changes um, every once in a while, from what I know. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the, and the ball, it, it feels obviously heavier, because it's a lot bigger, but... Um, I don't know, it must affect, like I said, the mechanics of, of the way it bounces, because uh, in standard Rocket League, the ball is always the same size, so you kind of learn how the ball works in its mechanics. So it's obviously going to be, like, a lot different here. Alright, let's, I'm going to get the shot off. Wow, I'm playing, like, an absolute, um, I, I, I've got a word for it, but I don't think it's quite appropriate right now. Is that in? Oh, the ball's too big! <laughs> Go in there! <laughs> That would have gone in if that was if this was standard and like that was the normal size ball that would have gone in But it's not what we're doing here, so gonna have to live with it. Oh They're always gonna intercept it because the ball's so big like Trying to get those shots over them would be a lot more effective with a smaller ball So I thought that the ball transformed into like like a square ball Oh, did I miss? Oh my god, I should have just left it. That would have gone in. But we did score, so uh, that's very good, very good. 1-0 uh, up at this point. I See, if I would have left it, that would have rolled straight in. Well, there you go. Well, I got the assist anyway. I'll take that. Now, I was, I'm going to try and go for a central hit on the ball, like that. And hopefully outsmart them. That, they got the interception right there. There's a lot of nuance in Rocket League. If you haven't played this game before, there's more to it than what it looks like, because at face value, it's just like a ball you hit around with cars, right? But you have to learn, you know, when to boost, like when to fly up in the air. There's just so much to this game that uh, at face value, you, you simply don't see. And really, the more you play, the more you learn. It's one of those type of games. In the same way like Battlefield and Call of Duty, where... At face value, they're just shooter games, right? But as time goes on, let me just save this. As time goes on, you start to realize there's more than meets the eye. You know, you start to work out spawn traps. You know, you work out where the enemy's going to be and uh, particular weapons and things like that. It's like this, but it, it really is super skill-based. Um, more than what you would think. Uh, so that's, that's definitely one thing to keep in mind. Now, let's try and hit this ball. That was a decent hit, because they were probably going to get a shot off. And as you see, like, you can do, like, uh, bigger boosts, so you can fly further up in the air, which is a skill you learn not too far into the game, depending on uh, how much you play, of course. Uh, I've put in about 100 hours into this game, so that should go to show you, like, how good it is. It's not just, like, a one-and-done type game, in my opinion. I saw a review on IGN as well about this game, and... One thing they said was, it's the type of game you're, you're supposed to, like, pick up and play for one game and then leave. I disagree with that. I think it's the type of game where you're supposed to play it for, like, a couple of hours. Um, well, <laughs> at least for me, anyway. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Oh, no! I missed, how am I missing this giant ball? It looks like I'm hitting it, and then it doesn't even register. I don't get that. Oh, my God. This... Okay. Oh, I got the shot off. Oh my god, I thought that was going to go in. Oh, you had to get the hit there. Alright, let's just try and uh, calm this match down a little bit. Go on. Oh my god. Get in. Oh no, he saved it. Gosh dang it. Oh, okay. 
Let's try and cross this back in. It's a little. It, it seems like whenever I try to do the things I'd normally do, it it doesn't seem to work as well. Um, the, it, the ball's just a lot stiffer, so your maneuverability is really kind of shaken up compared to uh, standard play. I wonder how this would do in competitive mode. Like if there was, there'd be an actual competitive playlist of this. I don't think it'd work too well, but um, who knows? Who knows? Got the hit off there. I think we're going to go to overtime. So when the scores are level, there are no such thing as draws in this game. You go to overtime, and um, if the ball stays up in the air, as you see, this it, it still stays at zero. Uh, that's one thing to note. But yeah, we're now in overtime. So the first goal basically wins, so it's golden goal. Uh, if you've played football, soccer, whatever you want to call it, you'll know exactly what that is. Um, so, the, oh God, please don't shoot. Thank goodness. And he was about to rocket that in, I think. Alright, I'm going to try something here. Oh, damn you teammate! Why'd you get in my way? I was going to have a shot there. I don't know how well it would have done. Because this ball is literally like the size of Africa or something, but... I'm having trouble, like, working out, like, where to hit it and stuff, which is quite odd. Um... Like, I, I think I have an easier time hitting the normal-sized ball than the larger one, which is quite interesting. Maybe that's just me. It probably is. All right, got the interception there. Because if I didn't intercept that, they probably would have got to the corner flag. Um, and as you see, just try and compete for balls. If you're new to this game, the best thing you can do is just compete for balls in the midfield because that's kind of really where the game is won or lost, in my opinion. Uh, especially in a scenario where people are not making, like, smart moves, per se. It's not to say these players aren't smart, but, like, because, like, the ball's all over the place, it's... you aren't gonna do particular plays like rush the ball to the corner flag and whatnot, so you kind of just need to intercept the ball however you can. Um, oh, come on, come on! No! We the enemy, I don't know if it was the enemy or the teammate who just got in my way there, but I was about to line up that shot and he just totally cut me off. Something I'm not a fan of, I must say. Alright. I don't know. It, I don't know, man. This this enemy team is not bad. Not bad. Um, not great, but they're doing a decent job against us. Gonna try and hit this ball over. That was successful. They hit it right back. There we go. Oh my god, how long does this match go for? Okay, I feel like I'm going to be sitting here half an hour trying to finish this match. So there is no time limit, of course, in Golden Gold. So it, it sometimes it just drags out super long. I remember I was in this overtime game once, and it literally dragged out an hour. Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. They just... People don't like to lose in this game. It's super, it's like super competitive. Um, you know, it is because it is such a test of, of, of basic skill. It can, it, it's a lot more competitive than games like Battlefield, in my opinion, and, and stuff like that, which is quite odd to say. <laughs> I think, you know, hitting a ball around is more competitive than like games like Battlefield and such. I, I think it is because what you see in games like Battlefield is people just mess around a lot. In this game, you'd expect people to always mess around, but they actually don't, which is... It's funny how that works, I guess. I'm gonna try and get that hit forward. This is a... Oh, I got the boost there. I, I didn't think I was gonna get it, because I thought the teammate was gonna get it. Alright. Let me try and get this hit here. I don't... Ugh, this ball is so unpredictable. See, but the way I thought about this originally was I thought the ball would turn into a square, I thought it would turn into a triangle shape. That's what I thought. It's just, it, it's basically, a, it's just a bigger version of the previous ball. Oh! Oh, they almost scored there! There we go, got it over them. No problemo. Oh my, what?! I, I, I keep thinking this is like a... I'm very good at those over, overhead shots. Uh, with the standard size ball as well. Something about that. I, I'm just good at predicting the enemy's movement. Alrighty. There we go. Got the hit. Ah, he got it over my head. 
It's no problem though. If he hits it to the corner, like the corner flag, I, d I honestly don't care. It's when it's in those attacking positions, like right there, that it becomes a problem. All right, got the hit. I'm gonna get the second hit. Hit it over him. Yes. 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 Is that in? Oh my god, they saved it. Ah. This 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 match is gonna go on forever. Many months later. Oh sh. Okay, this is it. This is it! Yes! <laughs> Finally, we do have an end to this game. And there you go. So, if you want more Rocket League gameplays from me, please let me know. Because I'm quite interested in this game as a whole. I think it's... It, it made me realize something. That I'm into games that don't mess about. You know, straight to the point. Why do I like Battlefield? Because you shoot stuff. That's it. Call of Duty. Shoot stuff. That's it. I, I like things straightforward. It's a video game at the end of the day. You know, if I want to... Uh, for the exa for an example, I used to like playing The Sims, but if I want to do that, I'll just live my real life. I don't know, but that's not hating on The Sims. I'm probably going to get hate from The Sims fans now, but <laughs> with that being said, guys, let me know in the comments section below if you want more of this, and if you do, please leave a like on this video so I know to make more. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and peace.